Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Ostriv. And as it says in the bottom corner right there, we are in Alpha 5. And there's a hell of a lot of stuff that has happened. We're actually in Alpha 5.0.1 because, as with any in the games, there are going to be bugs in big updates, and there has already been a day one patch. Now, I didn't actually realize, but this game came out yesterday. Whoops. <laughs> I was so concentrated on so many other games and my Night Asider Challenge and the Ostrov trailer that I was like, oh, oh, oh the, 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 the update's dropping the day after the trailer. Right, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting that at all. Now, my old Alpha 4 town save does still work to a point and my outsider save also works to a point however because the maps have already been generated they don't have a bunch of stuff that the new maps do have so no outsiders challenge although we're going to be playing it in alpha 5 it's still going to have a lot of the elements from alpha 4 uh, you'll you'll understand when we actually do an episode of it. So What I'm gonna do in this video is Not an update video because that will be separate coming out. I'll either do this earlier or later than the update video I don't know how much that one out yet But this is going to be my new playthrough of Ostriv and now we have options when it comes to the map so, unlimited limestone, limited stone. Unfortunately, all of them have limited stone on. Which is kind of annoying. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> all of them have limited stone on, which is kind of annoying. However, I know we're going to have, like, trading and everything like that. I See, that's... Okay. <laughs> If you click on one, it starts, so you have to be aware of that. I'm thinking unlimited iron ore is going to be very helpful. With that, the iron ore doesn't exist at all, and those are the only two maps that have unlimited on. I believe this is the new map, because I don't recognize it. I know they've added one map into the game. I haven't done the update video yet, so I don't actually know which one it is. It could be that one, I genuinely can't remember. However, I like the sound of unlimited iron ore and then limited stone and limited limestone because we can definitely trade for stones. That won't be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one because I don't think... Oh, we have a very, very nice hill. Wait, actually, actually, where are we starting? Oh, we are starting on this side. Okay, <laughs> I was getting concerned that we would have a very nice, hit, some like nice hilly zones there and we'd have to start over here. But no, we are starting over there. Okay, in that case, I want myself close to water. I think we can make like a spine of houses there and then make things lower down and we'll expand over to there. I really want to end up with a settlement on this hill. I really, really do. And then um, we've got limestone straight over. Lots and lots of limestone. Where's stone? Because that's going to be important. Okay, so all of my stone is along the is along the coastline. There's tons and tons and tons of stone all along this coastline. So there is a fair amount of it. There is a fair amount of it. Okay, I can live with that. Right. I might actually, in that case, actually, no, that's the edge of the map. We're not going to do that. I, considering stone is relatively late game. Um, do you know what? I'm going to start right up on here. I'm going to start right up on there. Now, of course, year number one, we do have migration in this playthrough. We have everything normal. <laughs> we have everything going normal in this playthrough. We're not doing the no outsiders challenge in our main playthrough. So let's get with some wood produced. And we have a whole bunch of stuff to go through. So we need priority forestry. We want to get a, a farm in our first year. That was a really stupid place to put it. We want to get a, a farm in our first year. And we're going to have the 
fields all down the spine of it. And then we want to start building houses pronto. How far can I go before it complains about it? Okay, there we go. Right, how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine houses. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, there we go. Let's get building. What's going to be my next priority? Probably a smithy. We want to get everything planted and then crops going pretty damn quickly. Whilst building your houses, or while your houses are built, try de decorating the settlement. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. I want this I want this settlement to look a lot more pretty than the uh, than the last one I did. But um, yeah, for now we'll just we'll we'll stick with um, focusing on what we need to do. Oh yeah, I need I need a clay pit, don't I? Oh yeah, and that's a. Uh, that's a thing as well, I forgot about that. Uh, we'll just, we can always move it. Because we need a clay pit for our houses. And we can have the women can get started on making thatch because we're going to need a hell of a lot of it. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, I wasn't being blind. Do you know, I can't tell if some of these animations have changed. They're gorgeous regardless. I absolutely love them, but I can't tell if some of them have changed. Oh, that's a farm I saw. I thought that was the smithy. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. We're going to have to make some pretty compact fields here. Where are the stakes for these? There we go. That can be buckwheat because no, it can be potatoes, and then that can be uh, buckwheat, and then we need to do another one, which I'm going to do behind. Oh wow, you can actually. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, it doesn't like it though, does it? Hmm. Oh, it's because of the entrance. I put the entrance too close. Then that can be wheat. Uh, only hire women because we need men to do construction. Right, get cracking because we need to get these houses built. We do not need metal parts for the moment. Oh yeah, we need charcoal, don't we? It's super early, but I forgot we need to um, give people firewood. Can you set them automatically? No, you can't. Okay. Not quite yet. Uh, so we will need to sell buckwheat, we will need to sell firewood, and we will need to sell potatoes. And at the moment... That is it. To, to hire women as well because I need the guy to uh... is that also then perfect but we need stuff to get built before the end of the year before winter comes Harvesting. We are harvesting already. God damn. 
Wow, we are... So, we're coming to the end of August. We've already got five houses built. Honestly, I think we might actually make this before the winter comes in. And they're not even the basic houses. They're the difficult, like, they're the second level houses. I mean, I'm damn impressed with our speed of building. I really, really am impressed with our speed of building. Uh, are we going to run out of nails? No, we are not. We don't even need someone in the smithy yet. We can do that over winter. We are keeping on top of our wood needs. Our farms are being harvested by the women in our camp and the last of our homes are being built by the men. God damn, we're doing well. So this is the last one of this side and then we've got the ones down that side and then we're going to build a, a warehouse, a granary and a windmill to uh, turn, our flat, turn our wheat into flour. One thing I always consistently forget to do is make benches for people so they don't have to go all the way back to camp to rest. These things cost absolutely nothing at all so we can make a crap ton of them. Them! Down to our last three and we did that in just under a month. So we have what like two and a bit months to make three it's gonna be close I'm not gonna lie it's gonna be close I think we could do with two more hands being on construction I can't think you can't, you can't take him off of being mayor we need all hands we can get to be honest with you when we can do that and the men can do this as quickly as possible <laughs> so we need to complete this one by kind of mid to three quarters of October to fit the last one in come on gents you got this you've got this it needs to be done before December yes Right, next one. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Two left. Two left. Come on. You got this. One and a half months to do it in. How much wood are we down with? We have enough. That needs 4,500. Yep, yeah, we've got enough. We've got enough everything. I think. Yep, yeah, we've got enough everything. Enough nails, e 400. Yes, so that only needs like 100. We have enough everything, it's just a case of speed and time. Come on, gents, you got this. We can put some more benches down so you don't have to go miles. One month to go, come on. Okay, so that took them just over half a month. So in theory, yep, it's just a thatch go up. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Last one, come on. You can do this. Three, qu three quarters of a month. You can do it, come on. I believe in you. You've got enough resources. You've got enough everything. enough everything it's just a case of speed come on you got this that gap of resting really hurt me but come on you got this we can do this we can do this power on through come on yes half a month to go Come on, please, I don't want to lose a family. 
I want my core. I want all of my original family to stay together. All of my original settlement to stay together. Okay, that's all the resources there. It's just a case of building the bloody thing. Come on, come on, gents. Yes, come on. Come on, last push, last push. Come on, you can do this. Yes. Good bloody job. Well done, everyone. Absolutely solid. Absolutely solid. Well done. Damn. We actually did that. And now we're into December. And here comes the winter. And it's the time when everyone would have moved out. Right. We can slow on down things now. Let's uh, recoup everything. You've all finished doing that. And I think we can make the... Do we want to make anything different next year? Not really. I suppose we can have a fallow year just to let the fields recover from that crop. Although we don't really need to. We, I think we've got enough spare to do it. And we will just use the rest of the year to uh, get ourselves set up for next year. Damn. I'm really impressed with them on that. I... There was, there was part of me that wasn't entirely sure. Oh, that, I didn't even notice that. But there's iron ore deposits all the way along that hillside. That's awesome. That's gonna be so, so helpful. Damn. Now, although the, um, the updated stuff is obviously here, I'm not gonna be getting into it probably for quite a few episodes because quite a bit of it is late game um i am gonna build this however because i'm making I, i'm oh no i never did do a field of sunflowers did i ah right what do we have the most of we have the most of potatoes so let's swap out potatoes for a year of sunflowers and we'll let the other fields what do sunflowers take Massive bread. Okay, we need to do that on buckwheat instead then. And uh, make that fallow because it takes red out of the most 160, 30. Okay, that works. That works indeed. Well, ladies and gents, that is January of year number one. Our settlement is going strong and that is going to be a... Uh, a nice old screenshot to uh, to start off my series and my playthrough of Ostriv in Alpha 5. I am so, so psyched that it is here. Obviously, there's going to be a ton of videos that I'm going to do on this game. As always, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very, very much for your support. Link, as always, will be in the description to the devs' Twitter and the website if you want to go and grab the game yourself. I highly, highly recommend you do because it is only going to improve over time and i'll see you in the next one